जय हिंद माई डियर स्टूडेंट्स सो वेलकम टू दिस लेक्चर ऑफ द सब्जेक्ट फंडामेंटल्स ऑफ मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग एंड मेकाट्रॉनिक्स सो टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द टॉपिक ऑफ दिस सब्जेक्ट इज इंटरनल कम्बशन इंजन एंड प्रेजेंटेड बाई आकृति गुप्ता वर्किंग एज एन असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन ए के जी सी गाजियाबाद सो इन दिस टॉपिक बेसिकली आई विल बी कवरिंग द बेसिक कंस्ट्रक्शन the construction of ic engine and its types its components working of different types of internal combustion engine and their comparison so let's start with the understanding of what we understand by heat engine that is uh, a basic or general part of ic engine or you can say the parent engine of ic engine there that is heat engine so in heat engine basically heat energy is converted in some kind of mechanical output that we generally known as mechanical work so heat en energy is supplied in form of any chemical energy that can be by fuel or any other energy we supply it in inlet and we have some system that receives this energy and transfer it into transmits it into mechanical work so this system is known as heat engine so as and when we talk about particularly internal combustion engine then we say an internal combustion engine where heat energy is received by the system and it is transmitted into mechanical work but this combustion takes place internally or inside the cylinder if this combustion takes place outside of the cylinder then we call this engine as external combustion engine so as i discussed the heat engine it can be defined as any engine that converts thermal energy to mechanical work output as for example so heat engine basically it can include steam engine diesel engine any gasoline engine so these are the example that you generally see these example in running your vehicle these are it can be diesel engine or petrol engine so it can be example of internal combustion engine and if we uh, i talk about the uh, particularly external combustion engine that where the uh, power plant are taken in this example so where the heat is supplied or here the burning of the any fuel takes place outside the cylinder so on the basis of how thermal energy is being delivered to working fluid of the heat engine heat engine generally classified as internal combustion engine and external combustion engine where the combustion takes place inside the cylinder we call it inter internal combustion engine for example petrol engine is an example of internal combustion engine where working fluid is a mixture of air and fuel which uh, the combustion of this air and fuel takes place inside the cylinder while in case of external combustion engine this combustion takes place outside of the cylinder you can see in this example steam engine where combustion takes place outside of the cylinder now let's talk about the classification of internal combustion engine so on the basis of different fundamental we can first classify it according to the type of fuel is whatever the fuel we are going to use in internal combustion engine we can say it can be a petrol engine diesel engine or gas engine so generally these three types of fuel we use so three classification are on the basis of type of fuel used now next is according to the number of strokes per cycle uh, later i will talk about the stroke of the piston now just remember there are two types of engine on the basis of stroke four stroke engines and two stroke engines another classification on the basis of method of ignition is spark ignition engine and compression ignition engine according to the cycle of combustion auto cycle diesel cycle and dual combustion basically what do you mean by the cycle of combustion i i am talking about the thermodynamic cycle of any engine generally what happens when any engine or system is on operation it works on some standard thermodynamic cycle it can be on the pv graph or on on the ts graph any thermodynamic cycle will be there and 
the engine will depend on that particular th th thermodynamic cycle. So, on that three cycles are there auto cycle, diesel cycle and dual combustion cycle. The next is according to the number of cylinders. So, on that basis single cylinder and multi cylinder engines are there. Next is according to the arrangement of the cylinders. So, basically vertical engine, horizontal inline engine, radial engine, V engine. What we are doing in arrangement of the cylinders, basically we are changing the orientation of the different cylinders. When I we require the multi cylinder engines, in that case we require a particular orientation of each cylinder. So, there can be standard configuration of arrangement. According to the method of cooling, air cooled engine can be there and also water cooled engines are there. You can see here there are some configuration of different multi cylinder engines. First is inline engines. So, number of cylinders in line like this are arranged in inline cylinder engine. Horizontally opposed engine, you can see two pistons are opposing horizontally. So, it is called horizontally opposed. This is vertical opposed piston, but vertically opposed piston. This is V. You can see two cylinders are uh, arranged in such a way that they are making a shape of V. So, we call it V shaped engine or generally V engine. Radial engine. So, basically they are making a circle where the radius of circle is representing each cylinder. So, it is called radial engine. Now, let us understand the main components of reciprocating IC engine. Before understanding the components of IC engine, we need to understand the term that is given here is reciprocating. So, basically there are generally two types of rotation or movement we can say. We talk about that is one is rotary and another one is reciprocating. So, when any system uh, moves along a single line you can say to and fro we call it reciprocating motion and uh, when there is some rotation then it is rotary motion. So, in IC engine the piston reciprocates. So, we call it reciprocating IC engine. How it is working we will understand later. First I, I am discussing about the components of IC engine. So, from starting of the cylinder engine, first is camshaft, you can see in the diagram, camshaft, this is cam, this is inlet manifold where the mixture enters intake valve for opening and closing of the mixture to enter inside the cylinder. This is combustion chamber where combustion takes place. This is cylinder block, the outside wall of the cylinder is known as complete arrangement of the cylinder is known as cylinder block. This is connecting rod, this is connecting rod which, which connects piston with crank. This is crank, this is crank. So, it connects piston and crank that is known as connecting rod. Crank shaft, a shaft that is connected with the crank is known as crank shaft. You can say it is vertically like this. On this plane, the shaft is on vertical axis that is known as crank shaft. Here is spark plug is mounted over the cylinder block. Next is valve is spring to operate this valve, exhaust valve uh, where the in exit manifold is fitted here and uh, mixture forces out to the atmosphere from this valve. Cylinder head, this upper portion of the cylinder is known as cylinder head. Then cooling water as uh, I discussed in types of internal combustion engine on the basis of cooling method. So, this is cooling water and it means the water is used in uh, maintaining the lower temperature of the cylinder as heat is produced inside the cylinder due to combustion. This is piston, this component is piston and this is crank case, the housing of the crank is known as crank case. So, this is all arrangement of internal combustion engine. In the upper part that is known as cylinder head where walls, 
स्पार्क प्लेग स्प्रिंग एंड अदर कैम ऑपरेशन आर माउंटेड हेयर देन मिडिल पोर्शन दैट इज सिलेंडर ब्लॉक वेयर द कम्बन टेक्स प्लेस एंड पिस्टन मोशन टेक्स प्लेस एंड द लोअर पोर्शन वेयर क्रैंक वर्क द रोटरी मोशन टेक्स प्लेस एज कनेक्टिंग रॉड इज यूज टू ट्रांसमिट द मोशन ऑफ पिस्टन दैट इज एक्चुअली रेसी प्रोकेटिंग इन टू रोटरी मोशन ऑफ द क्रैंक शेफ्ट वी विल लेटर सी द वर्किंग ऑफ दिस इंजन ऑल्सो सो दिस इज ऑल अबाउट द कंपोनेट ऑफ आईसी इंजन a brief description of the components is given here as cylinder it is a main part of the engine inside which piston reciprocates to and fro and it should have high strength to withstand high pressure above 50 bar and temperature above 2000 degree celsius in the multi cylinder engine the cylinders are cast in one block known as cylinder block so basically pressure and temperature is very high inside the cylinder due to burning of the fuel with air so this is cylinder block how it looks when i talk about the multi cylinder engine so this is all the housing this is basically housing inside which all the piston and cylinder will be placed next cylinder head i as i discussed the top end of the cylinder is covered by cylinder head over which inlet and exhaust valve स्पार्क प्लेग और एनी इंजेक्टर इन केस ऑफ सी आई इंजन आर माउंटेड कॉपर और एसपेस्टस गैसकेट इज प्रोवाइडेड बिटवीन द इंजन सिलेंडर एंड सिलेंडर हेड टू मेक एन एयर टाइट ज्वाइंट सो प्रिवेंट एनी लीकेज सो दिस एसबेस्टस और कॉपर और मेमरेन और यू कैन से सिंपल लाइनिंग इज प्रोवाइडेड नेक्स्ट इज पिस्टन सो इट ट्रांसमिट्स द फोर्स एक्सर्टेड बाई द बर्निंग ऑफ चार्ज टू द कनेक्टिंग रॉड basically it is usually made of aluminium alloy which has good heat conducting property <coughs> and greater strength at higher temperature so this is cylinder head where all the everything injectors valves spark plug is mounted over which this is cylinder head so this is piston this is piston this upper part is piston and this is connecting rod this is piston which reciprocates inside the cylinder and here these some rings are provided into this which is known as compression rings and oil rings so compression rings basically are provided to prevent any leakage from cylinder to the lower portion of the engine that is crank case oil rings are provided to basically prevent the any leakage of lubricating oil into the cylinder this is piston with connecting rod now the piston rings so basically these are housed in the circumferential grooves provided on the outer surface of the piston and made of steel alloys which retain elastic properties even at high temperature so two types of rings are there that is compression ring and oil ring so compression ring is upper ring of the piston which provides air tight seal to prevent leakage of the burnt gases into the lower portion while oil ring is lower ring which provides effective seal to prevent leakage of the oil into the engine cylinder so two rings are there basically so to prevent all the leakage of air and any lubricating oil so these are the rings this is expander to withstand at higher temperature and these are the rings connecting rod and crank shaft so connecting rod is basically which is used to connect piston with crank shaft or simply crank and it converts reciprocating of motion motion of the piston into circular or rotary motion of the crank shaft so the smaller end of the connecting rod is connected with the piston by a pin that is known as gudgeon pin this is a pin basically which is used to connect the piston with lower portion of the connecting rod and the bigger end of the connecting rod is connected with the crank shaft and that pin is known as crank pin the is special steel alloys or aluminum materials are used for the manufacture of connecting rod next is crank shaft so it converts the reciprocating motion of the piston into the rotary motion with the help of connecting rod 
so the special steel alloys are used for the manufacturing of crankshaft also it consists of eccentric portion that is called crank that uh, we noticed in a diagram previous diagram that is a portion yeah, yeah this this portion of eccentric shape is known as crank this is crank shaft which is rotary motion where rotary motion is transferred via connecting rod of the piston of the reciprocating motion which is transferred into rotary motion this is piston this is connecting rod this is crank and this is crank shaft so this is crank shaft how it looks in case of multi cylinder engine here so different orientation of crank you can see this is crank shaft this is number one crank then second crank other in case of multi cylinder engines so this is how a crank shaft looks in case of multi cylinder engine so crank case this is basically housing of the crank shaft where the crank is provided to transfer the uh, reciprocating motion of piston into rotary motion of the crank flywheel is another component which is attached to crank shaft to maintain the speed of the or ma maintain the power of the engine in each and every stroke of the piston so it is a big wheel which is mounted on the crank shaft whose function is to maintain its speed constant it is done by storing excess energy during the power stroke and which is returned during other stroke so basically what is the purpose of providing a flywheel basically it it stores energy uh, in working of the internal combustion engine i will explain how it is working in ic engine and it is storing energy when excess energy is supplied and it releases energy when there is a lag of energy uh, in case of running of the engine so basically this design of cylinder block is has been designed under cat software so it, this design is basically in a software developed design this is flywheel how it looks so it is provided at the end of crank shaft this is flywheel next is terminology what are the terminology used in ic engine because there are different terms that we should know before for any calculation of ic engine power or any other terms so first is cylinder bore so bore is nothing but the inside diameter of the cylinder that is nominal inner diameter of the working cylinder is known as cylinder second is piston area so the area of the circle of the diameter that is equal to the cylinder bore is known as piston area next is stroke that is the length or co length covered by the piston during the reciprocating motion of the piston so the nominal distance through which a working piston moves between two successive reversals of its direction of the motion now there are another term that is dead center top dead center and bottom dead center basically you know that piston reciprocates inside the cylinder so if this is piston and it reciprocates inside the cylinder so there are two extreme points inside the cylinder one is upper extreme point and one is lower extreme point so piston reciprocates between these two extreme points so upper extreme points is is known as top dead center or tdc and lower extreme point is known as bottom dead center all right so this is tdc and bdc and the distance between tdc and bdc is known as stroke that is known as l or it is the distance covered by the piston moving from tdc to bdc next is displacement volume or swept volume so basically you are seeing here that there is some volume which piston is covering so on moving from tdc to bdc so the volume this complete volume this is which is basically being swept by the piston is known as swept volume or displacement volume and is represented as v and is small suffix may s the you can also calculate the value of vs by multiplying area of the piston with stroke or stroke or length of the uh, piston that is being covered by the piston so this is 
Vs and also there is another volume that is known as clearance volume. So, volume over the TDC where burning takes place is known as clearance volume. So, this is clearance volume that the volume over the TDC. So, the nominal volume of the space on the combustion side of the piston at the top dead center. Next is cylinder volume. So, total volume can be given as by adding swept volume with clearance volume. So, next the compression ratio. So, the ratio of the total volume to the clearance volume is known as compression ratio. By this compression ratio, we can say that the your engine is whether SI engine or CI engine, SI engine basically spark ignition engine or CI engine is compression ignition engine. So, the range of uh, compression ratio uh, basically is used to define the type of engine and the inside pressure and temperature of the engine. <coughs> so, this is a diagram to explain all the terminology. You can see this is a basically sketch of engine. Here inlet manifold, this is inlet valve, exhaust manifold, this is exhaust valve, this is cylinder head where spark plug or fuel injectors are mounted. This is clearance volume, this is your TDC, this is your BDC. TDC and BDC, the volume over TDC is known as clearance volume and this length between TDC and BDC is known as a stroke. This is your piston, these are piston rings. This complete block is known as cylinder, this is bottom dead center already explained and this is bore that is the diameter inside the di diameter of the cylinder. So, all terminologies are covered with this basic diagram of engine. Now, first now let us talk about SI engine. So, uh, before starting and understanding the working of SI engine, we need to first understand what is SI engine and what is the difference between SI engine and CI engine. There are, are two engines. SI and CI engine and uh, the basic difference uh, between SI engine and CI engine is the type of ignition, how combustion takes place inside the cylinder. This is a spark ignition engine. So, as name indicates, a spark plug is used here in SI engine to spark the combustion and while in case of CI engine. This is compression ignition engine. Where compression is used to ignite the mixture of air and fuel. So, a spark ignition engine is an internal combustion engine. Generally, a petrol engine where the combustion process of the air fuel mixture is ignited by a spark from a spark plug. So, this is in contrast to compression ignition engines. Because in compression ignition or CI engines, diesel is used as a fuel where combustion takes place by in by the compression of air which reaches the pressure and temperature inside the cylinder and fuel is injected by some component that is known as fuel injector and ignition takes place inside the cylinder. I also talked about the different thermodynamic cycles on which a different kind of engine works. So, number one is ideal auto cycle. So, here I am talking about SI engines. So, SI engine works on or depends on thermodynamic cycle which is known as auto cycle. So, basically uh, Nicola Sato was a scientist who developed this thermodynamic cycle on which SI engine works. So, this cycle is on PV diagram is shown here where four processes are there. You can see one, 
2, 3 and 4 in clockwise direction. So, these four processes are in process 1, 2 is isentropic compression. This is isentropic compression. Second process is constant volume heat addition or constant volume combustion. <coughs> then third process is this 3 to 4 process that is isentropic expansion. Then process last process 4 to 1 that is constant volume heat rejection. So, four processes are there. So, in isentropic basically this term is used because entropy remains constant throughout this process. There is no change in entropy at inlet and outlet of the fuel. So, this is known as isentropic compression. Next constant volume means volume remains constant throughout the process. You can see here if as this is a PV diagram. So, you can see in constant volume heat addition V2 it will be equal to V3. Heat is being added in this process. Then isentropic expansion where expansion takes place, constant volume heat rejection where heat is rejected at constant volume. It means V1 it will be equal to V4. Now on, expel, on explaining the working of four stroke petrol engine, petrol engine means I am talking about SI engines. You need to remember this. Also there is one more term that comes here is four stroke. Let us talk about four stroke and two stroke. So, I, uh, I hope you have understood, understood till now what do you mean by stroke. You will say the movement of piston from TDC to BDC is known as one stroke. So, if in total cycle of the engine piston is taking two stroke then it will be known as two stroke engine and if piston is taking four strokes it means four times movement from TDC to BDC and vice versa then it will be known as four stroke engine. So, there are two types of engine two stroke and four stroke. So, now I am going to explain the working of four stroke petrol engines. So, in construction details basically all the components th that were explained in previous slides are given. So, a piston reciprocates which inside the cylinder or uh, the piston is connected to the crankshaft by means of connecting rod and crank. The inlet and exhaust walls are mounted over the cylinder head. A spark plug is provided on the cylinder head to ignite the mixture of air and fuel and the fuel is used, petrol is used in this engine. Now, let us understand the working of four stroke petrol engine. Construction details all are the same that you have noticed in understanding the components of IC engine. In working basically there are four strokes. Four stroke it means piston is moving from TDC to BDC four times or vice versa. First stroke is known as intake second is known as compression, third is known as power stroke or working stroke bhi bolte hai. and last stroke is exhaust stroke. So, in all these strokes this cycle is completed and power is produced to run the vehicle. So, with starting with intake stroke where inlet valve remains open and exhaust valve is closed in this stroke. What happens from this inlet manifold air fuel mixture takes place or enters inside the cylinder as intake valve remains open. So, mixture enters inside the cylinder and exhaust valve remains closed. So, on this piston will move from TDC to BDC. One stroke of the piston is done here in this way as air fuel mixture enters and piston moves from TDC to BDC. Another stroke that is compression stroke of the piston. Now, 
this mixture of air and fuel is compressed by the upward motion of the piston that that means piston is moving from bdc to tdc and this mixture is compressed also remember both valves remains closed in this stroke next stroke is power stroke where the ignition takes place so as by the compression of air fuel mixture the pressure and temperature of the mixture is raised here and the spark plug is used to ignite the mixture combustion takes place <coughs> inside the cylinder in this stroke and piston moves from tdc to bdc and power is produced as the thrust is generated here uh, because of the combustion of the mixture and this thrust applies pressure on the piston and piston moves from tdc to bdc last stroke of the piston is exhaust stroke where intake valve is closed and exhaust valve opens here so all the burnt gases now forces out to the atmosphere in this stroke and uh, cylinder is ready to receive fresh charge and ready to operate next cycle of the engine in this way power is produced in third stroke of the piston so remember in all the four stroke of the working of the si engine only in one stroke power is produced which is known as power stroke or this is so this is all about the working of four stroke petrol engine and in this lecture we basically we have covered and i have talked about the components details of the ic engine types of ic engines are different types so on different basis of ic engine two stroke engine four stroke engine there are there are also si engine ci engine uh, what are the types on the basis of combustion of the engine what are the thermodynamic cycles are there so in this lecture i have covered the working of four stroke si engine in next lecture i will cover the working of four stroke ci engine so thank you for watching this lecture thank you